Now your certified storm ready forecast from NBC 25. Well, we took a look at Saginaw earlier. Looked like some snow was flying there a little further south in downtown Frankenmuth via our NBC 25 Skycam. It's still slick out there. Some very light snow falling. Visibility not too bad here, but as we head further to the south, it gets even worse and the roads get even slipperier. Doesn't even matter if the snow isn't flying. We've had enough snow pretty much everywhere that the roads are treacherous, so slow down out there. Allow extra time to get to your destination. Right now, temperature sitting in the low 20s north to upper 20s. 20 south. This is the warmest that I've seen Flint get all day and 28 is in fact the record low maximum for this date. So we'll watch this. It's possible that we end up with a tie in that department. Wind chills even colder. We've got teens across the area. It feels like at 9 degrees though in Claire. That is the cold spot when you factor in those winds out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles an hour right now. And there is more snow off to the west of us around Grand Rapids and even on the other side of the lake. That's not lake effect. That's heading this way. So with uh, the next six hours coming our way, we could still be looking at some accumulating snowfall despite Futurecast having it and several hours earlier. So uh, I would, wouldn't necessarily agree with our model tonight, but this looks pretty good tomorrow at noon. It has more lake effect snow moving through the area at times during the day tomorrow. Some of our southern counties tomorrow could get another inch as well as another inch, inch and a half possible tonight. And then as we head into Friday, the snow tapers off to an end. And in fact, at eight in the morning, enough breaks in the overcast for some very cold temperatures and then a partly sunny afternoon as we head through the rest of the day. Uh, temperatures tonight dropping to 20, if not even colder as we head into tomorrow. Those highs not getting much above the mid 20s. In fact, we might even stay around 23 or 24 in some spots. I mentioned the clearing taking place on Friday morning for that reason. That looks like our coldest night of the season. Some of us could even drop into the single digits and despite some sun, we'll stay in the 20s for highs. Tonight down to 18. Wind chills though, single digits to near zero. That's snow before 2 a.m. Lake effect snow, some minor accumulations possible tomorrow. We could get another inch or so along and south of I-69. Here's your seven day forecast. We're calling for 10 degrees tomorrow night. Friday, a high of only 25. Freezing rain possible on Saturday morning. It doesn't look like a lot of it, but as more moisture comes in on Sunday, look for a wet day there. 48 degrees and 46. Still some showers on Monday. Sadie?